We're going to look at a few examples for interior angles of a polygon level one within the delta mass system. So this one starts off with it gives us um, a polygon here and it says uh, use the diagonals from a common vertex. So we're going to pick one of the vertices. I'm going to pick this one here. And we're going to draw in those diagonal triangles. If you were a student in my class, we did this as part of the discovery lesson. Same idea here. And so we create these diagonals. So there's eight sides. This, this polygon has eight sides. It's an octagon. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six of these diagonal triangles. And what we had discovered in class is that the interior angles for all six of those triangles match up exactly with the, in, the eight interior angles of the, of the polygon. So in this case, the octagon. So these pink angles here, the, they match up with the interior angles for those six triangles. And we know that some interior angles for one triangle is 180. So this is how we figure out the formula for finding the sum of the interior angles for any polygon that's convex is simply uh, the number of sides minus two, which gives you this number of triangles, times 180 degrees. But for this problem in delta math, all we have to do is say how many triangles are in here, right? So we're going to split six triangles. So it's always going to be two less um, than the number of sides every time. All right, this time it says, what is the measure of each angle of a regular 24 gon if, and if necessary, round to the nearest tenth? So you got to be careful on these problems. Once the nearest tenth, that's one decimal place. All right, so 24 gone, it means all angles are exactly the same measure, right? So we're going to do 24 minus 2, right? 24 minus 2, and then we're going to multiply that by 180. And that's going to give us the sum of the interior angles. But then we have to divide by how many of those angles we have. And since it's regular, we know it has 24 angles that are all the same. So we can just divide by 24. So I'm going to get my calculator out for this one. So on my calculator, we get 24 minus 2 is 22. So 22 times 180 is 3,960 degrees. And then we divide that by 24, and we end up getting 160 five degrees. We don't have to worry about rounding on this one. So we just type in 165 and submit. We got that one right. All right, in this problem it says, what is the measure of each angle of a regular nonagon if necessary round to the nearest 10? So this is the same problem we just had, but last time I said like a 24 gon, this time it gave us a name. Let's say you're not familiar with that name. Google it real quick and you'll find that that's a polygon with nine sides and nine interior angles. So we know that n is 9, so we're going to just go 9 minus 2. When I say n, I'm using that formula, n minus 2 times 180. That gives us the sum of the interior angles. And then since it's a regular polygon, we're going to divide by n. So 9 minus 2 times 180 degrees, and we're going to divide that by, this is going to be 9 interior angles. All right, let's use the calculator. So on my calculator, I go 7 times 180, I get 1,260. Divide that by 9, and you end up getting 140 exactly. So we don't have to worry about rounding on this one either. So we're just going to type in 140. For fun, let's just say we got 140.25. Then you would round it, since it's 5 or higher after the 2, we round that 2 to 3. Right? So it would be uh, 140.3 if that was the if that was the the case, which it wasn't in this example. This one should be a quick one. It says, how many uh, tr diagonals uh, form a common vertex? So how many triangles could be formed uh, for a 17 gon? So it's always two less triangles, those diagonal triangles, two less than total sides. So you just go 17 minus 2. So this one's just a quick one. Boom, it's 15. Okay. And this one, use diagonals from the common vertex, how many triangles could be formed for this picture. Again, we can draw them in, or since we know this now, this is a, a pentagon. It has five sides, so it's going to have three of those diagonal triangles. What's the sum of the interior angles of a levengon? So this is just the formula n minus 2 times 180, 
right? We just want the sum of all the angles, of all 11 interior angles, okay? So n is, is the number of sides or the number of angles that the polygon has. So we're going to go 11 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So that gives us 9 times 180. And then we're just going to use our calculator. And the calculator says it's 1620. So we're going to enter in the 1620, sum of the interior angles, and we got it right. And that's it.